So anyway guys, Matty Hacker on tutorial how to unroot your Galaxy S2. This is for the GTI 9100, the international version. Um, before we start anything very quick, I just want to say that uh, my bad for not posting up videos up lately. I've been so busy with school and work and so the stuff that I'm trying to do is just haven't had the time. And I had a, a internet crisis for about a week that I didn't have internet at all. But anyway, so no excuses. You know, I just want to keep you guys updated that I have not stopped working on this channel. I still be doing this channel. If I do decide to stop, I will let you guys know. So you guys don't expect anything else from me. But as of right now, I'm still I still have more things so I want to do this channel. So I want to add more stuff. So don't worry about that. I will be adding more stuff. And of course, I do take recommendations down there. Uh, I'm doing this video because someone had told me, hey, you know what? I want to know what's the best, how to root it, how to install copper model recovery, and how to get a good ROM. So I'm doing this video now because of that person. Okay, and he's lucky because I have the same phone too. So. Anyways, uh, so before you start the unrooting, you need to go ahead and go into Google and download the Samsung keys. That way you can have the, the the drivers for your Samsung Galaxy S2. That way you don't have any problems and that way Odin can work properly. Okay, so once you have that downloaded and installed in your computer, go ahead and download the raw file here that you see. I'll have a link in the description. Extract that, you should get a file just like this. You're gonna have here your Odin. It's gonna be a root, your root tar file here. We will use that in the next video on how to root the Galaxy S2. And these ones down here will be the um, how to flash your your phone back to unroot status or upgrade to a 4.0.3. And uh, if you plan to root your phone, you're gonna to have to do this step. But if you're gonna follow my steps, um, you have to do this step first because the rooting version will be off of the firmware, which is the XXLPH. So but I'll explain that more in the other video. So now that we have our Samsung keys installed and we have our files here, go ahead and put your phone in uh, download mode, which is Odin mode, which is hit the volume down, home key and the power button. Hold those three together. I just took a picture. Okay, hold on. Hold those three together until you get that uh, warning screen. And uh, you get a warning screen now and set volume up to continue or volume down to cancel. You hit volume up, obviously. And now you are in Odin mode, which is download mode. So now we have that, go ahead and open up uh, Odin mode, or Odin, I'm sorry. Open up Odin, hit yes on that. And double check that you have this highlighted. It doesn't matter what COM number it is, it's COM 8543, I don't know, whatever. So make sure it's highlighted yellow, you should be good to go, okay? Here I have a text document explaining to you what goes where in the, uh, in the tabs here. Uh, pretty easy just if you know how to copy and, and read then you just this is too easy for you guys okay so here first step is gonna be the bootloader click bootloader since I have mine in my desktop I suggest you putting your stuff your files in desktop just go to desktop I have mine under Galaxy S2 files and here are my files that I'm gonna use so here the first one is bootloader you need the i91 AP boot so it'd be this one they have the name right on it but just you know just I'm just doing this step by step so people know you know that's the thing. I don't like. I don't like to assume people know. I'd rather just have you. You know, it's better to learn if you have people telling you exactly what to do. Um, you're looking for the code one here. Hit open. And phone will be the modem. And then CSC will be the one that says CSC right on it. So it'll be uh, where is that? It'll be this one right? Where you, there it is. It'll be that. So now you have all this here. Just make sure. Just keep in double check, make sure that this is not checked off. You have these two checked off here. You have four tar files and your bootloader PDA and all that stuff. And once you have that done, you're gonna hit start and you should be good to go. Okay. Now it's gonna be installing the files and then I'll be back after this thing is done. Um let me just show you what's gonna do first before uh before it starts. Okay, it's gonna do that, it's gonna do this little spiel here. And then uh, you can see this thing gonna be filling with a green bar. And once it gets to the end, this one's gonna finish. So I'll be back, you guys, when this is done. So it should take about like a few minutes, like five minutes or so. So um, okay, I'll, I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys. So now that this is done, you see a green, big old green square has passed. You should be good to go now. You have an unrooted slash upgraded your firmware to uh, 4.0.3. It's an original firmware, so. This is how you can uh, you can unroot your your phone and up also you can change your firmware like this also if you want to do the rooting uh, for the like you want to do my way of rooting so um, that's pretty much it you guys 
So as usual, guys, please like, share, and subscribe to this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Any questions, throw them down in the comment section below. And you want to send me a personal message, go ahead and hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Don't forget to check out my website, themlmlifeforme.com. And um, that's pretty much it, you guys. Yes, take it easy.